Lucas. <laughs> Sharon's just like, what? What was that all about? I, I don't know. I don't know, ghoul dad. Lucas is a little strange sometimes. He's got a lot on his mind. All right. Let's take a look at me. There I am. The Wasteland Savior. Uh, okay. I think I unloaded a lot of my junk last time I was playing. Doesn't look like we're carrying too much extraneous bullshit. Got a couple of fingers. Alright, we can wait. It's such a pain in the ass to go out to the Regulator HQ that I'd rather just wait till I have a whole bunch of fingers at this point. I got a little bit of scrap metal. Alright, let's go give that to... Uh, to Walter. He's usually up here. There he is. Um, huh? Yeah. What is it? All right. Here you go. Just take it. Are you serious? Give me, give me Why? that sweet, sweet karma. I'll be. Thank you, stranger. I can't tell you what this means to Megaton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See you. I think I've hauled in so much scrap metal they could have rebuilt the entire town at this point. I like his eyes. Oh, he just has such interesting eyes. Alright, um... Let's see here... They're sad eyes. They're very sad eyes. They've seen a lot. I think I want to go back to Tenpenny Tower and I think I want to deal with them. And I'll tell you why. Because I hear tell that if we help the ghouls in Warrington Station get into Tenpenny Tower, then we'll get a ghoul mask. And the ghoul mask will allow us to pass by ghouls without being attacked. Uh, we were just recently out here in the Yagwai Tunnels and I have the animal friend perk, and it was very handy to be able to just walk in, walk around, loot the place, see what there was to see, and grab the sneak bobblehead and walk back out again, and not have to deal with anything attacking us. That was very handy. So I think it would be very handy to try to get the ghoul mask and just be able to walk in to a place full of ghouls and not have them attack me because I have Sharon with me and he's a ghoul and it makes sense that like they wouldn't attack him um so let's make it so they don't attack me either and then we won't have to worry so much about the ghoul reavers those things are so hard to kill and they're getting on my last nerve so I think I want to do this before I do anything else in the game there was a ghoul reaver right here at Warrington Train Yard. Almost killed me and Sharon. It was really bad. And he's pretty kick-ass in a fight. I mean, he's a one-man, or one ghoul, I should say. One ghoul army. And, uh, and even he was getting his ass kicked by the feral ghoul reaver. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die again. This thing is gonna kill me again. I've even got Sharon with me. Oh my god. Yeah. We killed one. We killed one. Actually, before we go out and do this, there's a place that should be right out here called Rockopolis. And Rockopolis has some interesting stuff in it that might be of interest to someone in Tenpenny Tower. So, um, okay, let's go do Rockopolis first, then go to Tenpenny Tower, and, and then go on from there. Okay, sounds like a thing to do. And Rockopolis should be, like, right here. West of... Smith Casey's garage and north of Girder Shade. So let's do it. Mm. 
Why are you doing that, Dougie? Don't attack. He wasn't attacking me because I have the animal friend perk, but I don't want him to kill the Brahmin either. So I'm sorry, Dougie. I'm going to have to stop you from killing... Killing Sierra's Brahmin. That's not good. Bad dog. I've got one. I've got your oh, back. Jeez, what's that? It. Oh, it was a Mire Lurk. Okay. Alright, we should be in the vicinity. Lurk doing so far inland. Is there like usually they're near water? Oh dang. <gasps> they have a copy of the Wasteland Survival Guide. That's the book that Myra wrote with my help. I guess it didn't help them very much, did it? Oh, I think this is it. See these pennant flags here? This is what we're looking for. If we approach this rock, it says open door to Rockopolis. Alright. There it is. Here we go. Ooh. They look like giant golf balls. <gasps> Rollings were done. Rollings. That's the last of these fucking hole dwellers. Jurley wants to shop them around up north. Not sure if they'll make good slaves since their eyesight is so shitty, but that's not our problem. Gather the boys and saddle up. Next stop, the pit. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. I think the story here is that Rockopolis was a big underground... City or settlement. I don't know if you could call it a city, but it was an underground settlement. There's a couch. A ham radio. And then they were discovered by slavers. And everyone was taken away. Bobble. Oh, Argyle. Oh. Argyle, I think, is a ghoul who had traveled with, uh, oh, we met this, like, adventuring dude in Tenpenny Tower. And he and Argyle were best friends. It looks like there was maybe a cave in. Can we go any further? Oh, poor Argyle. Grunt outfit. I'm not gonna take his clothes off of him. But gosh, how long has he been here? You've found a Vault Tech limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads When words fail, there's always fists. Your unarmed skill has been permanently increased by 10 points. Okay. Not that I use my unarmed skill, but alright. Aw, oh, Argyle. I thought this had happened a long, long, long time ago. He would just be a skeleton. Well, I don't know, maybe ghoul bodies are preserved even then when they're dead? I don't, I don't know. 
but it doesn't look like we can go any further. Nope, that's it. All right. Marked on the map? Is it an unmarked location? Huh. Interesting. Alright. Well, let's go back to Tenpenny Tower and see if we can talk to... I think his name was Daring Dashwood. He's the one that ran around with Argyle. Give me a second. Keep your panties on. Uh, my panties are on. They ain't going anywhere. Alright, thanks. I know you don't like ghouls, but you let Sharon in anyway. Thanks. Alright, where's Daring Dashwood? He might be in his room. I can't remember where his room is. Where was his room? I don't think this was his room. I think he was on the next floor up. Charmed, I'm sure. Are you? Hey. Charmed by me? Okay. Well, I do have the Black Widow perk. Oh. Oh, I got thrown out. Okay. Yeah, I think he's on the next floor up. Yeah, and the sweets. Oh, this might be him with the mailbox. Yeah, I think this is him. Yeah, exploration database. This is Daring Dashwood's apartment. Is he in here? He is. Hey, Mr. Dashwood. Yes? What do you need? I found Argyle. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? Argyle? You... you're sure? My God. I always thought he'd outlive me by at least a hundred years. Poor bastard. But thank you. Thank you for telling me. At least now I know. At least now the poor guy can catch a breather. I'd like to return your kindness. Here, take this key. It oh, unlocks my you. safe. Lots of stuff in there I'll never use again. My adventuring days are over. Well, thank you. Go make a name for yourself. All right. Open Dashwood's safe. He's got some bottle caps, mintats, ooh, a mini nuke, radix, right away. <gasps> More schematics for the bottle cap mine. I'll take it. And a stealth boy and a bunch of stim packs. Oh, thank you, dude. That was really cool. How are you? Splendid. Simply splendid. Thanks well, so much. Well, that was nice. That was nice of him. I can't take the rest of his stuff though. That's fine. Oh, he's got a ham radio too. Be more careful. Oh, sorry. Sorry. All right. Well, we told Herbert Daring Dashwood about his friend Argyle. Hello. Hey. And now we can go out of here. Let's go talk to the ghouls that want to live here. Well, I better go. 